What's up, guys? I just had something arrive in the mail today that I ordered, shoot, before Christmas. I uh, pre-ordered the DW 5000 single pedal, the 50th anniversary um, carbon fiber single pedal. And I haven't really seen any, like, um, you know, first impressions or reviews that weren't done by the DW company advertising for the pedal. So I figured I'd make kind of my own little video just showing you guys and uh, my first impressions and stuff like that. So let's hop right into it. All right, so here they are right next to each other. And for me, um, the way I set up my... I've, this is... Pretty much, I've been playing drums for, I don't know, just under 10 years, and I've, this has been the pedal, this has been my pedal. I have the turbo version, which is the round rounded cam here, that you can see. And while the 50th anniversary does not come with a turbo cam, I think you there's a way that you can, you can change it, but uh, it just literally came in today. I wanted to make this video, because I, like I said, haven't seen anything about this video, and or I mean about this about this pedal. So the way I have mine set up is super super you know tight spring all the way as tight as you can get it. You can see a little dusty here. I've got a little clicking action going on, a little bit of looseness. I've had it for a while, um, but like I said, this is the turbo. I keep it pretty much at a for perfect forty five degree angle when it comes to you know my beater angle, and I like super angled footboard that's what i really liked about this dw pedals because you can make the footboard on a super duper high angle you can see here i have mine just almost to the um to the max angle um i don't know it's just i use slide technique and for me having that angle it helps it's the way i play it's just i'm used to it and it's the way i like now if you can see here and if you've owned both the turbo and the accelerator pedal you'll know that even at the top setting for the most angle you're going to have a little bit less angle than like i said the second top setting for the most angle on your regular turbo for the like i said accelerator turbo 50th anniversary but you can already see here the difference in thickness this is super light super light compared to this it, it I don't know I don't know exactly what the weight is but it it feels like less than half a fraction of the weight um and I personally never felt the the 5000s to be sluggish or slow because of this big thick you know DW they make their stuff it's supposed to be you know you know strong and you know not necessarily heavy but like you kind of get this vibe and you feel pick this thing up it's like you know this is a machine piece of work um and you get the same the same vibe with this the only real difference is the footboard um so you get this all this big flat wide surface area you're not going to be moving around but the footboard and the heel plate here are just super super light and I've only played it for a little while here, and you, you can you can feel the difference. You can feel the difference. It's it comes back up quicker, and it it feels like more of an extension of your foot, for you know a chain driven pedal. There's only so much you can do. Now it comes in this golden box, DW fifty, you know fiftieth anniversary, celebrating fifty years, drummer choice limited edition carbon fiber footboard um now the usual 5000 does not come with so we got our sticker here a little user manual extra parts and uh, allen keys and whatnot and then a strap for the bag but as i was saying usually if you buy a 5000 either a turbo or accelerator does not come with the carrying case here the the 9000s do and i've owned a 9000 um, and I didn't like it. This was probably a couple years ago. I bought a 9,000 cause I was going to upgrade from this guy, the turbo cam, the turbo cam, um, 5,000. 
but it's I just I couldn't get used to it. I've been playing this for a few years, and they say that oh well, the great things about a great thing about the nine thousand is you can instead of having to choose between either the accelerator or the turbo cam, you can kind of switch between them as much as you want. But what I found with the 9000 is that no matter what you did with that adjustable cam, you couldn't get the perfectly round turbo cam that I had grown so accustomed to. And you couldn't even really get a perfect, um, I don't know what it's called, but it's, you couldn't even get the perfect crescent shape. It was more of just like a ball that stuck out when you twisted it. And I don't know. It was smooth. The 9000 is smooth. It's awesome. And the people who love them, they love them. But I I was like, I didn't see the extra. I don't know exactly how much more money they are versus the 5000 here. But I sold it because it wasn't worth the extra money to me. I liked my 5000. And I was probably, if, if the 9000 was the first pedal I ever got, I probably would have wanted to try a 5000 out at some point and the opposite thing would have happened i would have been like oh this isn't this isn't isn't like as smooth it's not as smooth as the 9000 but it almost felt in a way too smooth like you know ex especially for people who play chain driven pedals um and versus you know if you have the money to spend on a direct drive which plenty of people do, you know, if you save up money, you can, you can buy a direct drive, but I've always just, I've played direct drives, I've owned them, and this, like I said, this has still always been my favorite pedal. It's, you can get the doubles and triples, the 16th note triplets on it, like that. Um, I've used lighter beaters, um, and I always just end up coming back to the regular stock DW beater. It's not that heavy. A lot of people say it's really heavy. I've found it. I've played heavier beaters. Like some people like their beaters to be really heavy because obviously it's going to give you a bigger sound. But I found that this, I play the felt side because I like the rebound. It's just a nice middle ground between being too light and, you know, really easy to maneuver, but also giving you a really powerful sound. I've just kind of been talking about my regular 5000 here. Let's take a closer look at the actual subject of this video. So it almost looked like this was etched out, you know, with one of those machines, you'll see the details. It's real carbon fiber. It's not painted on there. Um, it comes with the same beater. Looks a little bit different, you know, it's been a few years. Um, comes with the same stock beater as your 9,000 or 5,000 pedal. It comes with the accelerator cam. And as I said earlier, I've set these up basically identical when it comes to footboard and beater angle and spring tension. Just because I wanted to get, when I was playing them, I wanted to get a, as much of a similar feel as I could. So I could feel what the difference was. And like I said... You can feel how much lighter this footboard is. It moves easier. It feels lighter. It comes up faster with the, on the bottom of your foot. Um, oh, it's it's a beautiful pedal. I almost thought like I don't want to use it. Like I feel like it should be on my mantle. Like I said, I. I like to keep thing the board on the highest angle it can be. But honestly, besides the footboard, it's the same pedal. Um, I feel like most of the appeal here is coming from the fact of what I'm going to show you in a second, which is this little piece of paper you get and you purchase. I can get it out of here.
Only a thousand of these were made. And these are hand signatures. These aren't printed on here. Um, I just think this is really cool. And that's something you want to frame or anything like that. But I didn't know how limited they were. I just pre-ordered it for, you know, a little Christmas present for myself. And, you know, I hope they're telling the truth that there's only a thousand of these made. And I don't know. I'm guessing that means they made a thousand of the singles and a thousand of the doubles sets. I doubt they made 500 of each because it was pretty easy to get my hands on this. It was on sale. I just got it on Sweetwater for a while. And I think there's you can still get them. I think it, 450 bucks I paid, free shipping too. Another detail that I forgot to mention is that on the bottom here, it is actually signed by Dan Lombardi, and it seems to what be it seems to be a golden sharpie. And it's his signature there. He's the CPO, the chairman of the board at DW, and it's just little stuff like that that makes this pedal. Feel it, it, although it's that it's not much different. Like I said, you can feel it if you if you wanted to spend the extra money on just a better pedal because of the footboard. It's lighter, it's faster. I would say that this is a better pedal. Um, I say I like the turbo, but honestly, I've been playing for long enough now where I can I can get doubles and triples, and I can I can get speed on and pretty much any pedal that you, you put under my foot. Um, and from just 10 minutes of playing this and then setting this one back up and then setting this up again, I was like, this is the one I want to play. And uh, it's going to be difficult whether or not I want to keep putting my foot on there and letting it get dirty and, and everything or uh, keep it locked up in this case here. <laughs> and uh, just for you know, sentimental reasons, because it's just, it's, it's so cool. Well, now you've seen it in action a little bit, let's get down to brass tacks. Okay, so the 50th anniversary 5,000 pedal, single pedal, is 450 bucks. The regular DW5000 and the re uh, this is a turbo, both the turbo and the accelerator. Like I said earlier, accelerator comes stock with the 50th anniversary and there's no turbo version this is a 300 dollar pedal this is a 450 dollar pedal it's 150 dollars more um the 9000 is also 450 dollars so you would be spending the same amount of money for the 9000 which does have some more you know it has impressive little little it's got a lot of stuff going on it's smoother um it's got the floating cam or whatever. It's got the adjustable cam. Um, but if you're a 5,000 guy like me, you like the 5,000. Like I said earlier, I had the 9,000. I prefer my 5,000. This is all I need. Um, and you want to upgrade? I would say that it's worth another 150 bucks for just just for this super light plate. Like I said, it feels like an extension of your foot. Super light. Um, if you want to upgrade, say, okay, I got an extra 150 bucks to spend. Um, I love, but I love my 5,000. I'm not so sure about the 9,000. I would say it's worth it. But to be honest, it's more about the signature on the bottom and the little piece of paper you get and the fact that you know, maybe if I weren't to use this and we just kept on using my 5,000, I could be able to sell this in, you know, five, ten years for 800 bucks. You know, it comes with the case. Like I said, the regular 5,000s don't come with the case. The 9,000s do. But it's 
I bought it because it's beautiful. Um, super smooth. Just, I mean, just the fact that it's newer, you, I can feel it, you know, because the pedals get a little wobbly over time, even DWs. Um, one thing that I did forget to mention about when it comes to, like, performance, if you use slide technique like I do, this is, there's no grip on here. This is perfectly smooth. This is grippy. All these numbers and letters in here are going to catch parts of your shoe or your sock, depending on how you like to play. This is smooth. And for a guy who, like me who plays slide technique, I don't mind the smooth pedal. Um, in fact, it, I, I think it helps improve my playing. I'm just going to give you guys one more look, and that's that's pretty much all I have to say. It's I definitely don't regret it. I don't regret this purchase. You can see here. You can't see, like, the oil coming off my fingers on this on this nice carbon fiber here. But um, thanks for watching.